some of you might be wondering why I come up here so early in the morning, like a couple hours before work. First reason is to be able to get things going around here, have a while before I'm clocked in and add it and to film these videos. But there's a second reason. Let me show you. I gotta check on my hose. Yep. My hose just hanging out. Cool. What is up? So, I'm carrying the 511 Moab 10. It's basically just a long Moab 6, kind of, sort of. Few differences that we'll go over in a minute. If you've watched any of my videos, you know that I'm not a fan of the Moab series because of that pouch right there. On the 10, they extended this cushion and that helps tremendously with keeping this riding correctly on your back. Now, typically speaking, I'm not one to cat, you know, to carry it, you know, crosswise like that, which is kind of the way they were meant to be carried, but I just throw it over my shoulder and go to the car, to the shop, to the car, to the apartment, you know, whatever. So, I have had this bag for a really long time and it's just been stored away. Grabbed it while it was on sale. I've got three Moab 6s. Two of the three I cut this off of and just made them a, a handbag. One of them is our first aid bag at home. Wasn't really sure what to think about this. I've seen other people's videos. I mean, it's just basically a longer Moab 6 with some different features. One thing I did notice whenever I was packing this out, by the way, I got everything out of my uh, Rush 12. I think I got everything. Pretty sure I got everything out of my Rush 12 in here. With the exception of this, of course, will not carry a laptop. Maybe a really little one. But, you see how this front pocket slopes down? very aggressively very fast that is the problem with this pack just because I don't like a lot of the other features that right there makes it very difficult when you're loading it out because it just abruptly stops and folds in if they would have brought this out like the rest of the packs game changer uh, let's get it uh I don't have a lot of space in here. I mean, I have a lot of space, but to, to, to shoot video. We'll do it on the floor over here. Come on. I'm going to have to put you guys up on a pedestal. Alright, so here's the back. Pretty standard for 5.11 and whatnot. So I wanna show you the differences here. So in this, this zips all the way down. And when you open it, I don't know how much you guys are gonna be able to see. Get some stuff out of the way here. Where that swoops down at right there, the bag goes all the way down there. But it's at such an angle, you can't really utilize it. Things just either get stuck there or it doesn't want to zip back up. But here's the here's the big thing. This is the difference. You guys see that? So when you open this up, this is pretty standard up here. But right here. These go side to side instead of up and down. This is the other thing that I'm not a fan of. Again, just my opinion. I understand why it's done this way. So if it's slung over your shoulder and you spin it around, you can just unzip this and be able to get in here. I would have much rather seen this with vertical pockets like the other ones or horizontal pockets like the other ones, whichever, figure it out. So, when you unzip these, 
it's to where you can go from either side which is cool but again for my use i would have much rather saw this with pockets like this with the length or the height or whatever you want to call it of this bag they probably could have done three and yeah for me it would have been easier now granted not a game changer you're not a deal breaker game changer really it's early not a deal breaker just would have been a little more user friendly in my opinion the other thing these velcro things right here these nice little tabs but the velcro is very thin my finger is wider than that velcro strip so if you do cram something in here it really pulls and tugs on that and comes undone a little bit again just fyi all right let's get you guys off the pedestal overall not a bad pack at all not great not bad and i'm not knocking 511 if you guys have learned anything from me it's i have a ton of 511 stuff a ton some of the design choices just eh. i understand why you know they figure if you have this thing slung and you spin it around you can unzip this and just reach in there you're going to be reaching in blind anyway that is not the spot that everyone's going to be like oh that's so you can reach in no that's not what that's made for you could probably use it for that i won't say what i'm talking about figure it out but i just don't agree with that decision again my opinion and you know what they say about opinions this does have You're not going to be able to see it. I don't think you would have been able to see it over there either. Loud. This has the water bladder port. Which. I'm sure it would work on a sling pack. But probably not as comfortably as it does in a backpack. I don't know. I've never tried. I should probably invest in an inexpensive water bladder just so we can check that kind of stuff out. Again, build quality, with the exception of a few that I've gotten over the past few weeks, build quality is great. This is the double tap. I'm a fan of this. I have a lot of stuff in double tap. I just think the gray, the dark gray and the black look really good with the gray stitching and everything. You know, they're doing something right because there's companies that are copying these designs. So they're doing something right. With it being as narrow as it is, I would have liked to have saw just on one side, a water water bottle sleeve. I think that would have, that would have been a big game changer for this bag. Other than those few little complaints, the vertical storage on the front or on the main flap, no water bottle storage, and that weird angled that. This pocket goes all the way down to that seam, so you can see how much, and it that's not a gusset to where that can pop out. That's where they folded it to stitch it. That does not come out. Let me see. See if I can weave my hand in here. See, that's stitched. It's not a gusset. But other than those few things, it's not a bad pack. It's actually really comfortable. The way that they did this shoulder strap. Oh, by the way, it is reversible. You can swap this around. This, this tucks into here. It's very comfortable. Honestly, if it wasn't for the fact that I'd like some place to store my laptop and a water bottle which i could probably squeeze a water bottle in the main compartment my rush 12 doesn't have a water bottle pocket either but it's so wide when i slide my hydro flask in there it doesn't eat up any real estate that i need i did fit everything in here so there is a possibility that this could be a contender for a daily bag 
Another thing I do on all of my 511 bags, all bags if I can, but 511 actually thought this through, so thank you, 511. Most of their packs come with this plastic frame sheet back here. First thing I do when I get it is take that out. Again, personal preference. To me, it's very uncomfortable. Other than that, it's not a bad bag. Not too bad at all. We'll see how long it stays in the daily carry rotation, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take a wild guess that because of the way it's set up, probably not too long. If I can go through my EDC stuff, pair that down, maybe swap some stuff out, this might become a contender for a daily bag. One thing that I know is going to get said, I am fully aware that it has molly on the sides and that I can molly in a water bottle pocket. The difference there is an add-on water bottle pocket, pouch, whatever you want to call it, isn't the same as one that's made into the bag it's just not do they work they absolutely work but they also stick out and flop around where one that's made into the bag with gusseted sides or something if you're not using it it folds up flat against the bag huge difference now i know those fold up flat against the bag too until you bump into something or you pick it up and they flop open again. <laughs> I have one, I understand, and I, they're great, but I would rather have seen it on the bag itself. So yeah, that's it. Till next time, guys, take care. Uh, I gotta go to work, so you hang out? <laughs>